this beautiful plant is my gorgeous, gorgeous florist calicoa. I've had it for a couple of months now. And as you can see, it is absolutely stunning. But when I first got it, it was just a piece of clipping from my mother's flower that she had. So I really didn't know much about this plant. So I decided I needed a piece of this so I can figure out how to grow my own. And as you can see, it seemed to be doing quite well. When I first got it, it was just a little old piece. But as I uh, went along, I fed it, I watered it, and I nurtured it into what do you see it is right now. And I'm hoping that it will burst out of its shells and fill this whole entire pot. And I'm also hoping that it has flowers to come because I'm not sure. But as you can see, if you look closely, there's a burgundy tint on the leaves. So maybe that's a sign that it's going to be a flower somewhere. I'm hoping it is anyway. I don't know what the color would be, but I'm pretty sure it will be beautiful. And as I say always, it is absolutely gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And I'm going to try my best to continue to keep this going on strong and trying to fill the pot up with it so that it'll be big and beautiful so I have to change the pot to another one that's how big I want it to be and like I say I don't know very much about this plant but I am trying to figure it out and I'll just go along and do as I'm doing now and pray that it's okay I don't know if it stays in the house or out the house, but I kept it in the house last year because I knew nothing about it then either. I kept it inside so it stayed, uh, survived to a certain point. And then when spring came, I brought it outside and I started to growing back to where it's supposed to go. And I'm praying that I'm doing it correctly because you never know you have to go by what you think and feel when it comes to certain things if you don't even know anything about them but um like I said and like I always say it's absolutely gorgeous it's so gorgeous and how healthy these leaves are so green and so pretty with the trim of burgundy on the edges of them it is just quite a weird looking plant to be honest I've never seen one like this one before until I got this one and I don't know whether I'll ever see another one like this again, but I'm going to do the best I can with this right here. Then make sure it stays healthy as I can possibly do it because if I've come this far with it, I can stay and continue on throughout. And I pray before winter comes in that a flower shows up somewhere on these leaves if they're supposed to be. Because some plants don't get flowers, so I don't really know. But um, I, I know that I love this plant. It's just so green and, and unusual and it's so healthy and so un weird. And, and that's what I like about it. The fact that it's so strange looking the way it's growing. It is just amazing how all plants have their own individual looks and shapes and the flowers, colors and all of that. It's just amazing to me because you, you, no matter what plant you get there's something going to be different about it just like for us as people we are all different so so are the plants and I think again it's absolutely gorgeous well that's all for now bye